When I was 11 years old, my uncle died of a drug overdose. My dad wasn't around, and I had no real role model. My mom was so scared, so she took me to a program called Big Brothers Big Sisters. And since then, everything has changed. For the past 41 years, Big Brothers Big Sisters has helped thousands of children that are at the greatest risk on Long Island. In my neighborhood, it's really rough. There's guns, violence, drugs, police everywhere, and it's just not safe. My dad and my uncle have been growing up in that same type of environment, and I just don't want to turn out to be the way they was. Just like Ray Sean, millions of children face trouble in their neighborhoods, which is why the mentoring program that Big Brothers Big Sisters offers is so important. When I came to Big Brothers Big Sisters, I was really excited that I was gonna get a big brother. And then they told me that I was gonna get a big sister, so I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed. At a very young age, I had to become the mother of my two nieces and nephew. And not too long after that, I ended up being my stepdaughter's mother full time as well. And then I decided to go into fostering, and I ended up with two other children, a baby and his sister. So I kind of thought that I was done with doing all this stuff for children. And then I was just sitting on my couch one evening, and a commercial came on for Big Brothers Big Sisters. And I don't know what happened, but I just felt this like thing in my chest that told me and compelled me to get involved with this organization. Bringing strangers together is sometimes hard, but when it came to Rayshawn and Celestina, it was hard to keep them apart. The first time I met Celestina, I was really nervous and excited because I didn't know what to expect. After that, we just had a connection and I just wanted to be with her every weekend. The first time I met Rayshawn and I got to know him, I really felt like I hit the lottery. And from that outing till every outing we've had after that, we have such a blast when we hang out. It's just, it's amazing. We're like a perfect match. Celestine and I have done so many things together that I've never done before in my life. I just had an amazing time with her, and she actually taught me a lot of life lessons that I will never forget. Ray Sean quickly became part of my family after we met. We just meshed together so well. And he's had some pretty challenging times over this last six and a half years that we've been matched. But we've always managed to work through those times. Sometimes we would just talk for hours when I dropped him off. And he's always been beyond grateful. Couldn't ask for any better. Hardships are not uncommon for the families in the Big Brothers Big Sisters programs. And often it causes matches to struggle and sometimes even end. Things was going great with me and Celestina and with the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. But well, unfortunately at home, times was getting rough. I had a lot of hardships going on and we actually got evicted and we all of us had to move into a shelter. When Ray Sean was in the shelter, he had a lot of struggles and I had a lot of struggles of my own. I had went through two different surgeries and my husband was newly diagnosed with cancer. It was a tough time, really tough time. I think the toughest time in our entire relationship together for both of us. Living in shelter was really hard. We had a lot of rules that we had to follow and she also had a lot of health problems that prevented us to see each other too, so. I had had my second surgery on my hand and I just couldn't stop thinking about Ray Sean. I was just very worried about him and it was a long period of time without seeing him. Six weeks went by and I was really worried and I didn't know if we was gonna see each other again. And I just had a turning point where I just had to get in my car. I drove out there one hand and pulled up and went beep, beep. And he came to the door and... First time seeing Celestina again, it's very heartwarming for me. I didn't see her in a long time and she came all the way out to where I stayed and she had surgery, so she was driving with one hand, so that was crazy for me. But I'm, I was so thankful, I, I was so happy too. Like I was relieved. It was just great seeing her again and we connected again. Every year, Big Brothers Big Sisters has a holiday gift program and a huge party. And this year, that party was even more special. Big Brothers and Big Sisters have amazing parties. I always have fun going there. At this winter blast, I actually got a call from my mom and she said that we finally moved into a house. And I was so relieved, I was crying. We was all crying and it was just a happy moment for me. The whole room was completely overwhelmed. We were all crying, there wasn't a dry eye there. And to me, I just was beyond happy because now he finally has his own place away from all the madness that was going on in the shelter and at home. And he's in a stable house now. And we finished the party, and as we were leaving, I said, Rayshawn, we're going to get you a brand new bed for your own room. Rayshawn and Celestina are just one of many success stories that have been nurtured by Big Brothers Big Sisters. 
Currently, there are over 500 children in need of a big brother or big sister. And that's why Big Brothers Big Sisters needs your help. Being in the Big Brothers Big Sisters have changed my life dramatically. I learned new things and I became a man that I always wanted to be. Being a part of Big Brothers and Big Sisters has enriched my life in so many ways that I could have never imagined. And there's struggles. These kids on Long Island are going through so much right now. And it's so important to be a mentor at this time, in this age, and what we're going through. So I urge everybody to please volunteer and do whatever you can for this organization because it's wonderful.